Welcome to the toy store! Looks like someone is a big Wednesday fan! Say cheese! Cheese! Here's your payment! Fine, another dollar! How about a Barbie doll for two hundred dollars? Nah, he doesn't need a lot of dolls! What can I do? Maybe I should lower the price to fifty dollars! Let's hope someone will buy Barbie this time! But I'm starting to think the price isn't the problem! Still no buyers! Wow, it seems the Wednesday doll is what's in demand right now! What about the Barbie doll? Even if it comes for free? No one really wants me! <laughs> She's too pink! Yes! I love Wednesday! The store is already closed, but no one has still bought the poor Barbie! Is that Ping? He's asking her to come with him! He seems to take pity on Barbie! Where could they be going? This looks like Barbie's room! We need a makeover! What? First, we have to get rid of all your pink clothes! And pink toys! They'll do well in the trash bin! And Ken! Not him! Sorry, but we have to get rid of your boyfriend, too! Bungie! A match? Oh my, looks like Thing is going to burn all of Barbie's pink stuff! Well, the first step to being Wednesday is to enjoy lighting things up! Goodbye, my pink stuff! Look, Barbie found a piece of coal! It seems Barbie finds this useful! Just crush it into powder and brush off the excess! Next up, a black-colored wash gel! Pour a little bit on the powder and mix it up! Get your stirring game on until it turns into a hair dye! Just look at that thick consistency! Now we're ready for some hair styling! A makeover and a head massage at the same time? Count me in! And now for the reveal! The darkness is perfect! But I could use a better hair style! Is that some kind of beauty gun? Oh, it's a hair braider! Who needs expert fingers when you can have a machine easily do it for you? Do I look like Wednesday now? I need thicker <gasps> braids! There we go! It's perfect! I need to put on some makeup! I'll try on a lipstick first! It seems too colorful for someone trying to look like Wednesday! I'll try another color! Oh dear! All the colors are too bright! Barbie needs to have darker options! What should I do now? It seems Thing has a great idea! He's trying to reverse the time back to when everything's black and white! And will you look at that! The lipsticks are black, too! Now that's the perfect color for Wednesday! All right, you got what you wanted! It's time to go back to the present before we end up messing with timelines! What is Barbie planning to do now? Oh my, the head! Looks like doll heads will also do well as caps! First, pour some black ink. Then mix it with a gel. Just dip your face in and you've got an instant face mask! This will surely take off all of Barbie's pink makeup! Uh-oh! Barbie turned into a man! Too much face mask! Gotta remedy that a bit with a few pats of white powder! A little bit more here… Phew! Barbie is a woman again! Come with me! Where are we going? Oh my! Is that a casket? This looks like Dracula's lair! Well, if there's a tanning bed… This casket must be a whitening bed! I think I'm not alone… Skeleton! At least it worked! Barbie's turning paler like Wednesday! Now that my eyebrows and lips are done… What about eyeshadow? Let's see… 
Uh-oh, I'm not seeing any dark colors in that palette. Barbie has to find another way. What is she planning to do with that oven? Looks like we're going to do some eyeshadow roasting. Set the timer. And now we wait. Are those cupcakes? Oops, this is not what I need. I gotta set the temperature higher. There. Oh, it's ready. Let's see. It's burnt to the crisp. This is perfect. Great, I can put on eyeshadow now. All of it is in a perfect shade of black. And it looks good on my eyelids. I'm really starting to feel like Wednesday. I need an eyeliner. I'll check my makeup kit. You mean the Bat Cave kit? Got one. Their wings are useful. I can use it as a guide to draw my eyeliner. There goes the Wednesday gaze. Oh dear! You have a caterpillar on your face! Is she really going to wax them off? Even worse! She ripped off all her eyebrows! Good thing I have eyebrow stencils! I can just draw on the shape and voila! Eyebrows on fleek! I think I need a black eye color. Is that a bowl of eyeballs? Who needs contact lenses when you can change your eyeballs instead? They're staring at me! Okay, it's time to change a new eye color. You probably should have picked a new eye color first before removing your eyes. But having two different eye colors is fun anyway. It's like wearing 3D glasses. Maybe next time. She's trying to look like Wednesday here. Black color is the way to go. That's better. I can finally see! Hey! I'm hungry! Oh my! Who knew eyeballs made good candy? Well, break time's over. Back to makeover. She has a lot more colors to get rid of. Looks like Barbie is contemplating which colors to paint her nails with. Might as well try them all on. But I'm not sure they fit Wednesday's look. This is more like Enid. I better store these away. Ouch! Well, isn't that convenient? A bruised nail will turn black. If that's the case, then I should hit all my fingernails. This must be what they mean when they say beauty is pain. At least that saved her from going on a salon trip. Oh my! Now this is what you call love at first sight. The pain was indeed worth it. Now that her hair and makeup are done, she needs to do something about her outfit next. Good thing I have a black magic dust spray. No need to make a trip to the clothing store. I can just spray all over my outfit. Whoa! It's like I'm looking right at the real Wednesday Adams. It seems Thing is very much impressed with the look. Something's still missing. An accessory. Ah! A spider! Perfect timing. This spider will be useful. Just crush him and he'll ooze out spider ink. I can use the ink to create a choker necklace with a fun style. It's almost done. Now this is a fashion statement. Black shoes, braided black hair, dark smirk, and creepy eyes. It's none other than Wednesday. Oh! It's Wednesday! You look familiar. I'm only here for my revenge. Her eyes are glowing. What's going on? Is this a mannequin challenge? Or did Barbie Wednesday just turn everybody into a doll? As for you, mister, you're only for free. Now you know what it feels like. Layla wants to eat an apple, but she has a toothache. Her tooth is moving. My tooth hurts. I can't bite. We're gonna have to slice the apple then. Come with me. 
just stand right there. An apple on her head? I have a bad feeling about this. Now stay still. OMG, a bow and arrow? I'm so scared! Here I go. Can she do it? Oh, phew! I can't imagine what would have happened if she'd hit the wrong thing. OMG, what are you doing? You could have hurt her! At least I cut the apple. Am I alive? Are you okay? Gosh, I'll show you how to safely slice an apple. Come with me. First, we're gonna need a chopping board. And our very own apple cutter. All you need to do is press the cutter down on the apple, and you get instant slices. Here, safe and easy. No need to risk our lives. Yay! It's cleaning duty for Nanny Enid today. Look at all these messy clothes. No! Oh my gosh! Oops! Help me! Oh, Layla. She doesn't know how to properly fold her clothes. Good thing Enid has a gadget for that. Unfold the gadget on a flat surface and lay a shirt on top. Fold the sides, then the bottom. And there you have it, a neatly folded shirt. Let's do one more because this is just so fun to do. There, all done. Wow, my closet is so neat and tidy. Thanks to the gadget, right? What is going on here? Colorful clothes? This is absurd. Is that a bomb? Uh-oh, someone's closet is about to explode. We better start running. This is gonna be fun. Whoa, what was that? All her stuff turned black. That must have been a black bomb. This is what you're gonna wear from now on. Black dress, black shoes. Got it? Look at this girl. She looks exactly like Wednesday. Double me, double the darkness. <laughs> Whoa, is this a vampire's castle? Wait, it's just Layla's room. What is Wednesday doing? The best way to fall asleep is to engulf yourself in darkness. This coffin is where you shall rest in peace. No way! Is Layla really going to sleep in a coffin? Huh, this is actually comfortable. So long, friend. Wait, don't close it! La la la! Huh? No! Stop! What are you thinking? Layla won't be able to breathe in there. Go to your bed, Layla. Such a foolish concern. Here, I've got you a unicorn blanket. Wow, it's so soft! Wow. It's laughable is what it is. At least I get to take this warm cot. And Enid finally puts Layla to sleep with a good old fairy tale story. Yay! This is how you properly sharpen a knife. Here, you try it. Uh, I don't think a child should be doing that. Ow! It's just a tiny cut. You need a magnifying glass to see it. Ha! Huh, how shallow. I have an idea. A wound tattoo? There. Now you have a bigger wound. A bigger wound? Okay, then. Hey! Oh my gosh! Nanny Enid couldn't handle the huge cut on Layla's hand. Nanny, wake up! It's just a tattoo to cover up a very small cut. Phew! Oh, I have a better idea. Tape? Oh, that could remove the huge, nasty tattoo. Finally, it's all gone. Now for the tiny cut. I have wound spray to treat that. And a fun fairy tale band-aid to cover it. Nanny Enid did a great job treating Layla's wound. But it's Layla who deserves a lollipop for being a brave girl. Thank you, Nanny! Yay! It's time for Layla to clean up all her messy toys. I don't want to! Your teddy bear will explode if you don't clean up. Time is ticking! You better start now! Please, Nanny! Not my teddy! What's going on? OMG! A bomb? Nanny Enid is here to save the day with scissors! Time is running out! It stopped! Yay! Thank gosh that was the right wire to cut! 
But Layla still needs to clean up her toys, and Nanny Enid has a trick in mind. Watch this. Shoot the toys into the basket just like hockey. That looks fun. Let me try it. Goal after goal. Three points for Team Layla. Good job, Layla. Now that you've scored all the goals, let's put this away. And the teddy is safe, too. Candies! Layla's favorite snack. Come on! Not so fast. Huh? You should eat a salad instead. Ew! No way! Wednesday looks busy reading her book. But Layla is up to something. What's up with her toy? Huh? Wednesday is having a vision. Looks like there's an operation going on here. The toy is stable. He's just getting stitched up now. Oh no! He's flatlining! It's up to Dr. Wednesday to save him! Did it work? Yes! Now for my favorite part. Cutting him open. I like to see the beauty of his insides. That looks like a full stomach! Whoa! His gooey insides are just flowing out! It seems something else is making the toy sick. He needs tweezers for this one. Let's see what's inside. Ugh, a worm! Rainbow vomit! Wait a minute, this looks like Layla's favorite candy. Busted. What a wild vision! Give me that. I know what you're hiding. You won't fool me. Something is inside this toy. Wow! Somebody's got a secret candy stash! The secret has been spilled! Literally! <laughs> no! My candies! I can't believe you fooled me! This is all going to the trash! What a waste! I can't believe the candies are just being thrown away! Poor Layla! Or not! What's with the evil smile? Oh, you sneaky girl! More secret stashes! Something woke Layla up. Could it be a monster inside the closet? Look at those sharp claws! He's coming out! Ah! <laughs> What's happening? Ha! Showtime's over! Wednesday! We were just getting to the good part. Leave! It's okay, it was just silly Wednesday. Go back to sleep. Wait, don't leave me! I'm still scared! Well, oh, I know what to do. This is like a magic show. There has to be an endless tool scarf in there. Or a mountain of it. Enid has some crafting ideas. She's hooking it up to the ceiling. This is gonna be good. Wow, a curtain! Just like a princess bed. This will protect Layla from scary monsters. I love it! Oh, a yummy orange lollipop! But Layla is having tooth problems. How can she eat her lollipop then? We remove the root of the problem. But those pincers are so scary! This will be quick and easy. What? No! Stop it! Phew! Are you crazy? I'm calling a dentist! Yes, please! Come right away! I'm here! I'm here! Is the dentist okay? Let me see those teeth! I see, it's a broken tooth! That was an easy pull! Success! Here you go! Cool! It's so small! The Tooth Fairy will love this! Oh! I'm gonna start off with my hair! My hair is so stubborn! I give up! Ah! I feel so hopeless! Huh? That tickles! Look who is here to help! Thing is very strong, even if he's just a hand. See? He can move the hairbrush all on his own. And now for that small comb. Wow! You fixed my hair! This is so amazing! But something's still missing. Aha! Uh -huh, I have an idea! Look at these long pieces of crepe paper! Roll them up and cut them into strips, then drop them in a bowl of water. It's mixing time! It's gonna turn into a hair dye! Now Arya can dip her hair in! I feel like I'm at a salon! I think that's enough! Wow! 
I'm starting to feel more like myself. Wait, I have a better idea. Braids! Now this is more like my style. Okay, let's see what's next in the beauty box. What's this weird thing? Is it a mustache shaper? Let me try it. I'm not sure if that's for a mustache. We're trying to be Wednesday Adams here, not Gomez. This is actually pretty cool. Hold on. Thing is here to tell you that it's for your eyebrows. Oops, I didn't know that. You mean like this? Oh, wow, I think it's working. Eyebrows on fleek. So cool. The only way to achieve the cat eye look is with the help of a cat's tail. Use it as a guide to draw a wing. Just like that. And now you've got the sharpest eyeliner ever. Thing approves. What's next? Eyeshadow? You're gonna make Thing sneeze! I'm starting to look like Wednesday! Wait, what about my clothes? Maybe I have something good in my closet? Let's see. Eh, too colorful. Too bright. Everything's vibrant! What is she going to do now? Uh, is the curtain moving? What? Thing has an idea. It's time to improvise. Let's get this party started. I'm gonna turn this curtain into a dress. From this time forth, I shall be called Wednesday. All these happy things are boring me. I'm not tickled. Look at this doll's fiery red hair. It's hurting my eyes. And what kind of shallow fashion is this? It's time to change things up. To start off, remove all the shiny accessories before they burn Wednesday's eyes. Then clean her face up with a black toothpaste. It's charcoal flavored, just like Wednesday's favorite. Oh! Give it a good massage. And now wipe it off with a sponge. So fresh. I hate that colorful makeup. We have to remove that too. Start with the eyebrows and then the freckles. It's not just a makeup remover, it's a face remover. What have you done to the doll's face? Top it all off with a foam. And now even her eyes are gone. This will have to do for now. I have to fix her hair first. Straighten it up a bit because I hate those fun curls. It should be straight like mine. It still needs more work. I know. The doll needs her hair dye too. Pour some conditioner in a bowl and mix it up with black ink. There's no other color but black, of course. La la la, what a fun day! Oops, I tripped! You're heading straight into the pool of misery. There we go. I think that's enough of a soak for the day. Let's get you up. Perfect black hair. But I'd rather she looked a little bit paler. White paint is the key. Sponge it all over the doll's body until she's entirely covered in white. Braid her hair, too, and start drawing her face back on. Don't worry, Wednesday isn't cruel enough to leave her without a face. <laughs> but of course, her new face has to be made of dark colors only. Give those eyes a little detail. And add a little bit of shine to that. Just a bit will do. This doll just became an exact replica of Wednesday. Thing wants to say you did a good job. Wednesday's old room is a little too colorful for her liking. Better get rid of all that cute stuff and replace it with skeletons and skulls. They're more fun. Who needs these absurd colorful posters? I must replace them too. Ew, too much pink. Now that's better. What are you looking at? Aha, uh -huh, this is giving me an idea. All this white is giving me a headache. So I'm going to cover this stool with cardboard. But I'm not done yet. I will make it extra special by adding a backrest. No, it's not a bamboo tree. It's a unique style. Now I'm going to paint it black, of course. No brown should be left behind. 
Look at my beautiful throne. I am the queen of gloom. What is Thing doing? I think he's trying to send Wednesday a message. What on earth? This lamp is too soft and sweet. Thing has a suggestion. Oh, spiders. I know what you mean. This will help me achieve my dark aesthetic. Phew, this is not for people with arachnophobia. But for girls like Wednesday, insects can make good decorations. Sticking them all together makes a better lampshade. It's ready. This lampshade is going to cause so many jump scares. Oh, what a beautiful rose. I hate it. I only want the black stem. There. I'm gonna put it up on the wall. Here's another rose. Well, I don't think Wednesday's going to change her mind. Now is not the time to be romanced. She only cares about the stems. Who could blame her? Look what a nice wall decoration they make. Huh? What is this rope for? It summons a bed net, apparently. Look at Wednesday's new room. Those bats will keep her company at night. And all these trinkets must be cursed. I'm sure she will sleep peacefully in a room like this. She is the queen of darkness, after all. Ah, I love brewed coffee. I better get ready for school. I'm going to bring my doll with me. Thing has something to say. What? You want to come with me? I think he finds your bag ridiculous. He doesn't want to go inside. Whatever. Well, you're right. It's garbage. Oh, look at these felt sheets. It's crafting time. After cutting the sheets into these shapes, glue them together. And add a zipper on top. Cover up the back. Now her bag looks like a gravestone. Thing is more happy to go inside. Don't forget your mini doll. It's time to go to school. Brace yourselves, darkness is coming! <laughs> These girls won't be laughing any longer. Wednesday is coming! Huh? Is that Wednesday? Hey girls, I have a surprise for you. What's, What's inside? inside? Why don't you see for yourself? It's a flood of spiders! I like revenge served with a warm side of pain. Let's clean you up. Let's start off by squeezing some toothpaste onto her face. Glitter is a must in her skincare routine. Scarlet is really good at multitasking. Now it's time to brush all that dirt away. This feels like a nice facial massage. Wipe it away with a sponge, and her skin feels so fresh and smooth. But we need to do something about her hair. Nothing's worse than getting bubblegum stuck in your hair. What if I... Um, oh dear, you're gonna have to brush your teeth again after that. I take it back. Yuck! Hair in your mouth is worse than bubblegum in your hair. There's only one solution left. Shaving the doll's hair off. I'm sure the doll won't mind. A bald head is apparently the new fashion trend. And at least we can finally get rid of all that bubblegum. Looking great. So pretty! What if I give her new hair? Looks like the Squid Game doll is getting a new hairstyle. Patience is what you need for this one. Just manually clip in strands of hair until you complete those luscious waves. Want to get that ombre look? You just need a marker for that. And look! Rainbow hair! Now that's a fashion statement. Somebody hire this doll for a shampoo commercial. Whee! This is so fun! It's fun until you get dizzy. There we go. The doll is turning green. At least her vomit is made out of glitter. You poor doll. Why did you puke? Is it because you're pregnant? Oh, this just gave me an idea. Sounds like it's craft time. Lie the doll down and place the tiny doll on her stomach. Then cover it with cling film. Cover that up with some tummy-shaped clay and pour hot glue all over it. A lot of glue. And don't forget the glitter. Then dress her up in a fancy little maternity dress. Look at that! The doll is pregnant! Where is the doll going? Oh no! Thumbtacks! No! 
you! She was saved in time! The doll probably needs new shoes! Something stretchy might help, like a balloon! Roll it up like some nice boots! And coat it using a hot glue gun! This might look like too much, but we definitely need all that! It's just enough to shape the bottom of the boots! And lastly, paint each boot with some fun polka dots! That looks perfect! Wait… The doll's hand looks so bare! I guess it could also use some color! Back with the glue gun! Use hot glue to shape the doll's very long nails! Take note, nails, not claws! Huh? Don't worry, that's what nail cutters are for! Once the glue has all dried up, trim the nails to a decent length! We're not trying to turn the doll into Wolverine, after all! Now they're just long enough to apply nail polish on! I love my new nails! It hurts! Ah! Barbie is about to give birth! Her water broke! Your water broke? Whoa! We need to get your baby out! I know what to do! Barbie needs a comfy bed to push her baby out! There she is! She's got her mother's eyes! You're so cute! Huh? Not just one baby, but two more! She got triplets! The more the merrier! Go to your mommy now! Barbie did not expect to have a lot of babies! They're so heavy! How is she going to carry all of them at once? I know! Prepare a tiny container and place soft fabric inside! Then turn it over to place popsicle sticks on each side, just like that! Add bottle caps on the tips to look like wheels! Lastly, add a canopy and a handle! And voila! A baby stroller! The perfect size for triplets! Mommy Barbie is ready to go strolling with her precious babies! Wow! Someone's having a concert here! Oh yeah! Oh, hey Barbie! You want to listen to music too? The headphones are too big for Barbie! And it's too loud! Stop it! My eardrums are going to burst! What? I'm so sorry! Barbie needs headphones that could fit on her small head! Aha! Uh -huh. I know what to do! A Coca-Cola bottle? We just need the seal for that! Get two tiny buttons as well, and apply hot glue on it! Paste it on the bottom seal, and of course we can't forget the glitters! Ta-da! Shiny headphones! Let's try it on Barbie! It fits just right! Now there's no stopping these two from belting out tunes! Something's wrong with Barbie! I need to poo so bad! Starlet's having her favorite toilet candy snack! Mm. A toilet? Oh! Scarlet has to enjoy these cherry sprinkles while it lasts! Yum yum! Huh? No! You silly Barbie! Thank gosh Barbie's poo is made out of diamonds! But it still smells gross! Scarlet's going to make a real doll toilet out of this bottle! After cutting out the top part, add a seat, lid, and sink! Then set it on top of a bottle cap! There! This is where you should do your business! What a relief! Oop, sorry! I'll leave you to it! Beep beep! Ken coming through! Hi, my darling Ken! Hiya, Barbie! Oh no, watch out! OMG! I can't watch this! Take note, no flirting behind the wheel! What the… what happened here? <gasps> Poor Ken! Look at his arm! It seems he broke it! This calls for an operation! How is Dr. Scarlet going to fix his arm? We need a Play-Doh for this! Let's go! Take a spoonful of white Play-Doh and use it to glue back Ken's arm! Get another strip of Play-Doh and paste it all over Ken's arm like a cast! Then wrap a bandage around his neck, down to his arm, to serve as an arm sling! This is tiring! Ken lost all his teeth from the accident! A glue gun? How is it going to help? In Dr. Scarlet we trust! Just smear hot glue all over Ken's lips and give it a paint job! Voila! Your new lips are done! Check it out! No! You look handsome as always! Oh! Barbie wants to give you a hug! Oh! What are these girls drooling over? Oh! A yummy birthday cake! Hold on! What's going on now? Something's coming out! 
Is that Ken? How did you end up there, you silly guy? Let's give you a nice bath. Nothing works better than fun, colorful water orbs. This feels like soaking in a cloud. All done? Just a little more brush. How do I look? I don't care. Ken needs to up his game to impress Barbie. I know. A bouquet of flowers, of course. Will it work this time? Hmm. Okay, that's pretty sweet. Oh my! Mommy Barbie is so tired, and the babies won't stop crying. I want to relax. I know how to help. Take out an empty detergent bottle and cut out the part where the line is. Now Barbie's got her very own bathtub. Fill it up with water and essential oils to give her the full experience. This is so relaxing. Looks like Barbie found a nanny, too. Barbie is resting. Uh-oh. What is Scarlet up to? Is that foam on Barbie's slippers? Let's wake her up with a little feather tickle. Huh? What's going on? Ooh, what is this? Oh, you've got a frothy situation there. <laughs> oh no, Barbie is in a bad mood. How can Scarlet make it up to her? There's only one way. Craft time. Pour hot glue around a stick to mold it like a donut. Give it a paint job to make it even more realistic. Add some glitters and toppings. Donuts are served! Phew! Barbie seems satisfied with her snack. What a good day! Not so good now! Barbie slipped on a banana peel and flew straight into the pool. Help me! I can't swim! Shark incoming! Barbie got too scared! What's going on? Save me! A pop tube! Just in time! Fold it into a donut and secure the ends together. Give it a cute decoration, like a flamingo. Even better, it's a floater! No more silly accidents when Mr. Flamingo is here. Poor Barbie! She's been through a lot! Huh? I think Barbie's gonna be sick! Yikes! She's puking glitter! Did you eat an art project or something? And she fainted! Wake up! Don't die on me, Barbie! Don't die on me! Did you just cut off her head? Oops! It's time for an operation! Oh dear, I hope Barbie gets her head back. Is there still hope? Is that some wire and a button? Maybe there is hope after all. The wire is gonna replace Barbie's neck, and it's secured with a button. Make sure it's secure before putting her head back on. We don't need another decapitation. It's working! Huh? Really? I take that back. She's going unstable again. I'll save you, Barbie! A scalpel? Something's inside Barbie that's making her sick. Looks like she swallowed a diamond. There's something else! What? There's a cricket, too! I see Barbie is an adventurous eater. Ew! Well, it's time to stitch her back up. It's as easy as tying a shoe. Minus the needle. Let's see if it worked. Barbie is alive! Yes! I did it! She's a little confused. I guess getting your head detached does that to you. You're okay! Oh, I'm so glad! I love you, Barbie! I love you, Barbie! Huh? When was the last time Barbie washed her hair? Look at all those leaves! I have a solution for that! A razor? Come here! Barbie doesn't want a bald head! But I heard it's a new style nowadays! I wonder if this will go well. Penelope is on her way to becoming a barber! But her first customer is not satisfied! Well, I think I did great! My hair! Brands? They're way better than hair dye! Penelope can be as creative and as colorful as she wants! Perfect! Chef's kiss worthy! That's not a race car helmet, is it? Oh, a needle! This is gonna hurt! Barbie is getting her hair sewn with thread! This looks pretty dangerous! Beauty is pain, after all! 
that looks nice! I guess the pain was worth it. It's art time! But I don't think Barbie got the memo. Silly, that's not makeup! Naughty Barbie! Come on, let's go clean you up! Who knew Barbie could be so stubborn? That's a really big brush for Barbie! It's not for her teeth, after all! It's to clean up her face! Imagine getting toothpaste all over your face! Maybe it helps exfoliate the skin! All done! Look at you! Barbie's face is all clean and smooth! But what about the rest of her body? I think you need a big shower! Oops! I'll put you in the bathtub! To Barbie, that bathtub is a giant ocean! I wouldn't want to get thrown in that either! Oh, I understand! What can I do? Oh, I could use that detergent bottle! Cut the bottom half of the detergent bottle! I see where this is going! It looks like a bathtub! And look! Barbie fits right in! It feels like floating in the clouds! It's already summer! Although Barbie's late on the news, no wonder she feels so hot! I think she needs to take that sweater off! Or put her in a bowl of icy water! That works too! She must have cooled down by now! What is Penelope up to? Wow, what a fancy closet! But no summer outfits? That's a bummer! What do I do now? How is a balloon going to help? Let's get crafting! Penelope is getting creative with this! She's using the balloon to make a bikini bottom! And now a bright yellow one for the top! Definitely a summer theme! This latex outfit is the new trend! Will you look at that model? It really does feel like summer in here! Oh, Barbie wants sunglasses too! But I only have this pair! Let's see… A hanger? Yeah! Use glittery cardboard to cut out the shape of the lenses. And use the tiny hanger for the frame! Voila! It's hard to see through that cardboard! But at least her eyes are really protected from the sun! Cheers to our new fashion gurus! They're at the mall! Wait, is that who I think it is? It's a Ken doll! I see Barbie's got a crush! Just look at that handsome face! Oh, they're making friends! But these two are such snobs! How rude! Now they've got Barbie feeling insecure! To think that she's the prettiest girl in the world? Poor Barbie! I need to fix this! Huh? Makeup is 50% off! That's the cheapest deal I've ever heard of! It's time for a makeover! Her makeup is too big to use on Barbie! I wonder if this will work! See, that lipstick is bigger than her face! What a lot of blush you have on there! <laughs> You're gonna need a smaller lipstick! I think a pencil should work! Just slice the tip off, since that's all you need! So tiny! You can put it on a pen core for the handle, and color it too! Now that's better! Barbie loves her new look! What's wrong? Oh my, has she been digging in soil? This is unacceptable! You need a new nail polish! Maybe let's make it smaller first. Slice a toothpick in half and coat it in nail polish. Make sure to coat the tip properly. Now it's easier to paint Barbie's nails. They look amazing! Ken will surely fall in love with you now! Let's go! La la la! You've got this, Barbie! Hi, Ken! Look at me! I am so pretty! Whoa! I just saw the most beautiful girl in the world! I smell love brewing over here! A kiss already? Well, I can't blame them. It was love at… second sight. What are they watching? 
Oh, how sweet! The girl is pregnant! Now Barbie wants to be pregnant, too. I don't think she's ready to be a mom. But Penelope must obey. A troll? And Play-Doh? Uh-huh! Let's give this Barbie a baby! Use plastic wrap to trap the baby troll inside. And use the Play-Doh to mold the stomach. It kinda reminds me of baking cookies. Congratulations, Mommy Barbie! When can we find out the gender? Oops! I'd say right now! Mommy Barbie's water broke! What? You're about to give birth! This is a job for Dr. Penelope! I bet you're starting to regret wanting to be pregnant! Stay still! It's almost out! I can see the head! This is one unique baby! My baby! Phew! That was tiring! What's that? Looks like an empty container! I have an idea! Put a small cloth over the container and stick it down with glue. Don't forget to wrap some glitter cardboard around it. Now use some popsicle sticks and tea light candles for the wheels. Finish it with some paint. And ta-da! A baby stroller! Perfect! What else is a stroller for but to gush over the baby? Am I right? Wow, so many rings! But not enough fingers! Barbie looks like a kicked puppy over there. She's jealous of Penelope's jewelry. Huh. What about her? Uh, let's see. What about this bracelet? She wanted a ring, not a hula hoop. I don't know what to give her. Wait a second. <laughs> I have an idea. Take the plastic ring off a bottle. Cut a piece to make a cuff. And add some sparkly gems. What a fancy headband! Barbie feels like a princess. But what about a necklace like Penelope's? Getting greedy, are we? Don't worry, Penelope's got a hack for that too. Beads? I know! Draw a diamond on some glitter cardboard and cut it out. Add some fancy gems. And voila! A diamond necklace! You guys look so expensive! Now I want jewelry too! Ooh! Someone's got a date tonight! Oh my gosh, it's Ken! But I don't have an outfit! No problem! Your best stylist is just right beside you! Let's see what we have here! Welcome to Barbie's awesome closet! All those fancy clothes and nothing worthy enough for a date? Oh, What am I gonna do? I can't go on a date wearing this! Maybe there's another way! Forget about those fancy clothes! A torn sock will do the trick! How is that gonna work? Ew! Trust me, okay? Penelope is gonna make a dress out of this sock. Just cut off the top part, and it's done! I think it needs a little work, but at least it looks good on human Barbie. Are you ready for your date? Uh-oh, Cinderella! You lost your shoes! There's no Prince Charming this time! It's up to Penelope to find new shoes! Let's see! Aha! I need to find the pair! Ken is almost here! We gotta hurry! Oh no! A glue gun? Yes, it's hat time! Penelope can make a pair in no time! Just use a glue gun and copy the shape of the heels. It's gonna be a little sticky, but at least it won't ever come off. Cinderella's fairy godmother should be taking notes. Barbie is ready for her date! You look amazing! Here comes Ken! Look at that beauty! Ken can't take his eyes off Barbie! Next thing you know, they're gonna get married! But, well, it depends on their owners. Huh? Huh? I have a text! Her friends are coming over! 
Sounds like a party. Although the house looks like it's already had a party with all that mess. Time to do some cleaning. Fix the shelves first. And that flower pot. My gosh, why are there shoes and clothes everywhere? Someone forgot to do the laundry. Barbie's upset. She doesn't have a nice couch for her friend. Where will they hang out? Maybe I'll just throw it away? But wait, maybe there's something else I can use here. Oh look, a coffee table. Barbie doesn't like it though. Better find another one. A sponge? Don't throw it away just yet. It could be useful. Cover that sponge with a fluffy pink cloth. Make sure to secure it with hot glue. Fold the bottom and turn it over. Then paste it on a piece of styrofoam. Add armrests on the sides. And ta-da! You've got yourself a comfy couch. I love it! This calls for a snack. Don't make Barbie jealous with that. Her table is empty. I know! It's time for another craft. Apply glue to a toothpick in a circular motion. That way you can make donut shapes. Add some paint to make them look more real. And some toppings, of course. Yummy strawberry butternut. And so many other flavors, too! I'm jealous. Come in! Welcome to my house! It's so beautiful! Barbie's got a visitor, too! It's her new bestie! It's gonna be a long night of gossiping! Cheers! Is that my tooth? Not my front one! I look ugly! I can't let that happen to me! I don't want to lose a tooth! I know! Help me! I'm gonna go brush my teeth. Avery really did come prepared. Whoa, slow down. That's not whipped cream. This apple sucks. Oh, I know what I can do. Is that a Dr. Drill and Phil? Well, if Diana can't fix her own teeth, she might as well fix somebody else's. Let's check for cavities. Found one? Better pluck that out before it gets worse. I don't think all that soda will help Diana's teeth. That looks so fun! Look at all those bottles of soda. Avery's getting an idea. Let me borrow this Fanta bottle. Thank you! What is Avery up to? Who knew bottles could be used as teeth? We have to make it dirty for Avery to clean. It would probably take 10 dentists to clean that giant mouth. I see the owner of this giant mouth likes their veggies. Ew! Yikes! Looks like someone had a cheesy snack. What? Whatever. My toy is better. Just a bit more cleaning and it's almost done. This mouth is so big, you need a toilet brush for it. All clean? Yeah. Ugh, this brush is so dirty. Good thing it's not my mouth. Looks like it's painting time. Avery wants to paint a cute heart. Huh? Look at my jumping toys! Ha-ha! Oh no! Avery's artwork is ruined! Lift off! Such a crybaby. That's a lot of toilet paper. I would have thought it would flood tears instead of tissue here. Wait, toilet paper roll? I have an idea. Looks like Avery is going to make her own jumping toys. After cutting it into shape, fold the corners to give it arms and legs. Is this some kind of robot? Paint it blue to make it look more fun. Add googly eyes, too. What a cute little alien. Ta-da! What? Wow! This is so fun! Look at them jumping around! Cute alien froggies! That's amazing! Ouch! You hit me! This toy is not a fan of Diana. Whatever! I hate jumping toys! Those poor toys are no longer jumping around! This is not fun at all! Incoming! Watch out! What are you doing? You almost made me fall off my seat! I'm just practicing my… what? You didn't fall? I'll do it again, then! Whoa! What are you on about? <laughs> Wait, what? You still didn't fall? That's it, Butler! Look at those cute pink tigers! They're roly-polies! You can push them around and make them wobble! Cute, right? 
I bet you don't have a toy like this one. Poor you. Wait, it's not enough. I need more. Butler? I need more roly polies. This is exactly what I need. Look at them wobbling in sync. <laughs> Can you wobble too? Hey, stop pushing me. You're so annoying. <laughs> She's laughing like those wobble toys. Hold on. This is giving me an idea. They look like cute tiny balls. Hey, stop hitting me. Maybe I can make something like this? Look, a balloon! And a roly-poly! I know what to do now! We don't need an inflated balloon. Use a deflated one first and insert a marble inside. Next, tie a rubber band around where the marble is to secure it. Perfect! Now it's time to blow the balloon up. And we get our very own roly-poly toy! Look at this wobble toy I have! Let me see! What are you doing? Is she trying to draw Diana's face on it? Stay still! Alright, it's done! This is you! <laughs> wow, Diana found her twin! <laughs> the resemblance is uncanny! Hi guys, check this out! Avery has a huge pimple! What? Where? There! Oh my gosh, it's so big! I found her twin! Meet Pimple Pete! What? I don't look like him! It's time to remove Pimple Pete's pimples! All you have to do is pull them out! Oh my! That looks like a worm! Just look at Avery's pimple! <laughs> Let's pluck out some more! If only it was this easy to remove pimples in real life! That looks so cool! Ah! Where did that water come from? You are so annoying! I know, I'll just pop mine! Oh no! Please don't pop it! You're gonna make a mess! I can't do it! It's gonna hurt! I know! I'll just play with something else! Look at Mommy Longlegs! I love her so much! Oh look! She has pimples too! Yay! Now I have something to pop! Oh dear! This is a lot messier than Pimple Pete! Hand cream, anyone? That doesn't even look fun! This is so satisfying! I'll do another one! Perfect! A derm wouldn't worry about Avery's skills! She's clearly an expert at this! It's okay, Diana! You can still pull out more of Pete's pimples! I don't want to anymore! Oh dear! Avery can't stop biting her nails when she's nervous! She's about to finish them all! Ew! Look how ugly her nails have become! Good thing I have a nail art gadget so I can make mine pretty! It even has a light! And you can choose your own design! Look how cute they are! I'm gonna paste them on my nails! Let's start! This is pretty easy! Just put your finger in and press the button! See? Easy peasy! Look how pretty my nails are! I'm so jealous! I want pretty nails too! Can I try it? No way! This is mine! Poor Avery! She has no nails to bite, so she might as well chew a pencil! Oh dear! She bit too hard! She almost swallowed the eraser! Not everything is chewable, Avery! Wait! Eraser? I know what to do! No more biting, I hope! She's carving the eraser into something else! Is it going to be a shape? It's a star! These are not just pencils! They have pretty erasers in different shapes! I'm gonna dip them in paint! One pencil for each color! Now I can also decorate my nails! Wow! So pretty, right? Oh my gosh, I want that too! These are mine! Maybe I can just… I said no! You think I won't see you? Whatever! They're ugly anyway! I need something for my bag! Why so secretive? Oh gosh, what happened? What did you spill? It's all over Barbie! Uh-oh, it was the hand cream! Well, at least she has instant lotion! Huh? huh? Ew! You're such a messy girl! Oh, I remember! I also have a hand cream! It even has a Yoda head cap! Bet you're jealous! Yoda spits out hand cream for me! Even better! The hand cream is made of gold! Wah! Stupid hand cream! Hold on a second! Barbie and hand cream? I know! I have a genius idea! I'm sorry, Barbie, but we're gonna need your head! Trust the process! It's not as morbid as you think! 
pierce a hole in her mouth, and put her head on the bottle. Now she can spit hand cream too! Just like Yoda! Look at my hand cream! A Barbie head cap? That's so cool! I don't want this Yoda one anymore! I want Barbie version! I have to squish Barbie's face for a drop of hand cream! But at least I won't spill it in my bag anymore! And my hands feel so soft! This is perfect! I feel so pretty today! Oh my gosh! Are those blackheads? This is a tragedy! I need to fix this right away! I have to buy this machine! Whoa, that order came fast! What is that machine? It's a face mask maker! I can't wait to use it! Let's make a face mask! Is that orange juice? I'll make an orange flavored face mask with extra vitamins too! Just with the press of the button, the face masks are made! They look more like flavored pancakes to me! Yay, it's done! I want to try the lemon flavored face mask first! That's kind of creepy! It feels so good on the skin! I'm gonna relax for a bit! A face mask maker? Interesting! Whoa! I also have so many blackheads! Mine look worse! Can I possibly use that machine too? Uh, achoo! Whoa, an earthquake! Gross! Here's a tissue! Aftershocks! Ah, that's much better! Yikes! That's a week's worth of mucus! Look at that disgusting slime! You know what? This is giving me an idea! I know! Is that a crumpled tissue? She's mixing it up with egg yolks! I see where this is going! An egg-flavored face mask! I wonder if this will make good scrambled eggs! Ah, I can relax too! How about some strawberry cocktails to go with your spa day, ladies? This is perfect! Mmm! It's Diana's birthday! Here comes the food! Wow! Strawberry jello! And a chocolate cake! This looks so yummy! I can't wait to eat it! I love chocolate cake! OMG! A present? Let me see! This is my favorite! That popsicle looks so dull! Huh? Kidding! It's not edible! There's actually a mystery inside! Let's open it up! Now this looks more like jello! I have to scrape it off with this stick and knife! I cannot wait to see what is hidden beneath all this! Diana is really enjoying her birthday present! I see something is starting to come out! It's just like digging for treasure! I got it! A packet? What's inside? This is going to be a fun surprise! OMG! Look at this cute little monster! You are my new best friend! Look at that poor girl with all her boring jellos! This is so unfair! Ooh, look at these dancing jellos! I know! Let's get crafting! What could this mystery item be? Avery is gonna make her own digging toy with this matcha jello juice! Make sure to fill it up and let the jello set! Wow! It's glowing inside! She can use a grater to scrape it off! Or you can use a scoop to dig the toy out! There's something inside! Don't worry, little guy! I'm gonna dig you out of there! A mysterious friend awaits me! Wow! It's an Among Us toy! Even better, it's a keychain! I know! Let me dig out your other friend! I'm just gonna use the scoop again to dig him out! Yay! I got him out easily! My pink Among Us toy has a friend! Looks like there are more Among Us toys stuck inside! There's a white one, too! Wow. The gang is complete! They have to revive the white spaceman! <laughs> Whatever! I'll just eat my muffin! Who needs a cute toy like that anyway? I'm so thirsty! I bet I can finish this bottle in one go! Hey! What was that for? I need more water for my experiment! What experiment? Just watch as I put this tiny caterpillar in the water! Mix it properly… What's going to happen then? Just wait! Look! It grew big! Wow! That's so cool! Let me pick her up! Look at her big eyes! It's the cutest caterpillar I've ever seen! Oh, I know… Ah, get it off me! Oops! Nice hat you've got there, Avery! Look what you did! Her face! Worth it! 
Oh, fine. Here's a tissue. Give me that. This is such a hassle. Everything is drenched. Look what you've done to my shirt. Wait. Wet tissue paper, eh? I know. Let's see what she's up to. Prepare a piece of tissue and some colored pens. Draw lines to fill the tissue. Although I'm sure it doesn't matter how straight they are. Add some blue lines too for variety. Once the lines are done, roll the tissue around a paintbrush. Push the edges towards the middle to make a worm-like shape. Now draw some dots on it, just like a real caterpillar. Take it off the brush and you've got yourself your own colorful caterpillar. It's flexible too. You can even be more creative and design its body the way you like. And when you pour water on them, they grow bigger. These worms sure grow fast. Look, this caterpillar is ready to become a butterfly. <laughs> you know what? It's revenge time. Hey, Diana, watch out. These caterpillars are alive. No! Ah! Get them off me. <laughs> now you know how I felt. These babies are so cute. The parents have come to pick theirs up. Wait a moment. One of them is the doll from Squid Game. Good catch, Dad. What an interesting hairstyle she has, huh? Uh, never mind. Bye. Have a nice day. Bye. OMG. No, no, no. You took the doll. That's not your baby. What a situation. The guards are here to pick up their baby doll. What if they suspect something? The doctor could get in a lot of trouble. Seems they didn't suspect anything. Lucky doctor. Phew. It's art class time. Mom, look, I painted it. Wow, sweetie, that's so beautiful. You're so talented. I'm impressed. Doll really knows how to paint masterpieces. But look at that mess. The doll is all covered in paint. This is definitely gonna be a headache for mom. Perfect, just like new. Keep painting, you're doing so well. Ah, the dress is all ruined and the stains won't come out. I guess there's no other choice but to throw the dress out. No, the doll's making a mess again. No, give me that. What have I told you? I just cleaned you. See, one dress is already in the trash bag. Trash bag, I know what to do. What did she come up with? Why is mom putting the doll into the trash bag? What's going on here? Ah, she's using it to protect her from getting paint all over her clothes. What a smart thing to do. Now mom can relax and read her magazine without worrying about the mess. And the doll can continue painting masterpieces. Wow, I can't believe it. This is marvelous. Wow, well done. Smart parents make smart choices. It's time to eat. Here's an egg. I don't want it. I only eat honeycombs. No, no, no. First, you have to eat something healthy. No. Oh, no. Watch out, Mom. Wow, she has some good tennis skills. Look, the doll is melting sugar with her laser. She's making honeycomb herself. That's impressive. Hey, I have an idea. Let's see what mom's up to. Grab some sausages, cut them in half, and then a little down the middle. Then put a toothpick between each side of the pieces of sausage. Then make a star shape from those pieces. Take an egg and crack it into the star shape. Add more if needed. Now it's time to fry the eggs. Mom is a real chef. She cooks amazing food. Voila! Mmm, it smells delicious. Add some finishing touches. Veggies are important. Add some cherry tomatoes to make the plate even more colorful. Let's see if the doll will be impressed. Looks delicious. Yay, she's eating! Obviously, it's so much fun to eat a star meal. What a great idea mom had. Something is wrong with the doll. She's glitching. What's happening here? Are you okay, kid? Oh, poor doll. Is she okay? Oh, no. Let me check you out. Ouch! Oh, no. I think she caught a cold. No worries. Mom will take care of the doll. Lie down, sweetie. You'll get better soon. Let me get you warm and cozy. 
The cough syrup will fix everything. I don't think that kids are huge fans of medicine, Mom. Come on, you have to take your medicine. Open your mouth, open it. Oh my, okay, no syrup for you. Whoa! Oh no, poor Mom. Now she's gotta figure out how to sneak medicine to the doll. It's better not to irritate her. I want candy. Think, Mom. You always know so many cool hacks. I'm sure you can trick the doll now. Okay. Think fast. There must be a way. Hold on a second. I know what to do. Let's see what kind of trick Mom has in mind. Take the lollipop. Unwrap it. Don't eat it. Leave it for the hack. Now dip it in the cough syrup. Cover it well. Decorate it with all the sprinkles you have. It'll look even more delicious. Amazing. Now she won't even notice there's medicine on the lollipop. Here you go, sweetie. Lollipop, lollipop. Mom may be covered in cough syrup, but she did an amazing job. Something's wrong. Oh no, the doll's battery is low. She needs to find a way to charge her battery. I need to find the charger. Great, the doll found what she was looking for. Now all she needs is to find a way to charge the battery. But I don't think she really knows how to use the plug. I know. Oh my goodness! You can't put your fingers into the outlet! It's deadly dangerous! I hope someone will save her! Ah! Sweetie! Dear, dear Lord! Are you okay, kid? Are you crazy? What were you thinking? You can't do that! Fortunately, Dad has an idea to protect the doll from making stupid decisions. But I have a feeling this might not work. It's not possible to use a padlock like that. Try again, Dad. I think I have another solution. What is he planning to do? I'm going to cover it with tape. That way she won't be able to reach it. Is it really going to work? Oh dear. Don't be a silly goosey goose, honey. Wait a minute. I think I know what we can do. Mom always has smart ideas. Let's see what she's going to do. Let's throw this tape away. It's useless. This goes straight into the outlet. Our lovely doll will be safe. Need to put my fingers here. Not possible. It actually protects the curious doll from getting hurt. Good job, Mom. Moms always know how to protect their kids the best. I am thirsty. Looks like the doll can handle herself. Let's see if she is going to succeed. Hey! Whoa! Uh oh! The computer is broken. Error! Error! Oh no! My computer! All my work on there! <laughs> the doll won't stop with the water. Now she's trying to drink dirty Give water. Give me that! Ew! You can't drink that, it's stinky water! I think Dad's trying to come up with a plan. I know! What did he come up with? Look, that's a water dispenser! By using it, the doll won't make a mess anymore! Let's see how it works! Smooth! That's so easy to use! And it keeps all the things from getting wet! I am not thirsty anymore! Oh! My computer! It's broken! Well, maybe it was time for your computer to have a shower. Oh well. It's raining like hell outside, and the doll is glitching from the water. Hurry, someone help me get her dry! Let me handle this. Let's go to the bathroom. I'm gonna dry you. <laughs> Poor girl! The doll is almost dry. Looking fresh. Let's hope the rain has stopped. Oh no! It's pouring with rain outside. We can't go like this. Shoot! The umbrella is broken. What are they gonna do now? The doll can't get wet again. It's bad for her mechanics. What should I do? Wait a second. I know how to make good rain protection. Let's see what mom's up to, shall we? She's making a raincoat from a shower curtain. Fold the shower curtain in half a few times and then into a giant triangle. What is she planning to do? She is cutting the top of the triangle. Be patient, we're almost there. Throw those pieces away and let's move on. Take two square pieces and cut the corners. Just like that. 
Grab yourself some baking paper and a hair straightener. Fold it and heat it. Just be careful, it's hot. Congratulations, you've just made yourself a cute hood. Now do the same to connect the raincoat to the hood. It's way easier than it looks, and it's so much fun to do it. Let's see how it looks on the doll. Nice job! We look stylish! Let's go! Let's hope the friend's mom won't notice any big changes in her bathroom. Holy moly! Where's my shower curtain? Always having fun watching Squid Game videos! Time to eat! No! But this oatmeal is so delicious! You have to eat! OMG! What's going to happen now? Watch out! I can't bear those laser eyes! It's crazy! She broke the modem! Oh no! Now the internet's gone! I want to watch videos! Sweetie, the Wi-Fi! It's gone! Okay, okay, I'll figure something out! Just hold on a second! I'll fix it! I know that look on mom's face! She has an idea! She's setting a new password! The next step is to write the password down on a little piece of paper. Put it at the bottom of the bowl. And cover it with a delicious oatmeal. Smart! Almost there! Voila! Now the doll will be searching for the Wi-Fi password and eating healthy at the same time. Eat it! There's a surprise for you, but you have to finish the oatmeal first. Wow! The doll is finally eating! Mom's idea was brilliant! Wi-Fi! Videos! Happy me! Such a good girl! And such a smart mom! Time to rest and get a good night's sleep! Just look at how mom and dad are reading fairy tales to her! Shh! She's asleep! And she Let's in a beautiful go! Castle, in a beautiful squid game wonderland! Oh no! She's awake again! Now mom and dad will have to read her fairy tales all over again! It's going to take a lot of time! Once upon a time in Wonderland… Good! She she's falling asleep again! The squid game prince! The prince was tall, smart, and handsome! What's dad doing? Is he up to something crazy? Phone and fairy tale? How are those connected? Of course! He's time, recording himself a reading a fairy tale! Lived happily ever after! The uh, end! Look! What do you want? We have to read fairy tales! Listen to me! I recorded the fairy tale on my phone! Once upon a time, oh, there was a girl named It's doll. brilliant! She lived in Squid Game Wonderland. The doll was special. Now we can she go to sleep too! That's an amazing parenting hack! Impressive! And that's when I told him this secret! Alert! Alert! Love is detected! OMG! I think someone has a crush! You have to talk to him! No, I don't know how. Come on, it's easy! I know! I can help you with that! Love hacks for teens! Amazing! Now the doll's friend can teach her some hacks to make a boy fall in love with her. Let's pay attention! Do this with your hair! It has to be elegant! Seems doll is taking notes very attentively. Here's another hack! Say hi! And wink! Hi! Wink! Charming! Got it? Now it's your turn! Go! What are you waiting for? You got this! Oh dear! Why is she shaking her hair like that? Huh? Oh dear! That's creepy! Hey! Are you alright? What does she want from me? Uh-oh. What should I do now? You can do this! Don't worry! Oh, not that creepy smile! This isn't gonna end well. That's definitely not the best way to flirt. Poor guy, he's scared! This is for you. Oh, a love letter. That's cute! For a moment, I thought it was all over for her. Huh? What's that? No way! A squid game invitation! Uh-oh! Hey! Let me go! Their first date sure won't be ordinary! Today is baking cookies day! They must be preparing honeycombs for the squid game players! Are those marbles he's playing with? Put one over there! Oh no! I don't think those cookies will taste good with the soup! You've got something on your face! 
Shut up. Right, back to work. On it. There's so much to clean up. Look at this pretty marble. Marble and soup? I can practically hear her gears turning. What are you up to? I know. Mom's back. It's a special no-spill bowl. It won't spill no matter which way he turns it. Whoa, look! Amazing, madam! Maybe it's time to clean up your face. I need to pee! La la la! Oh no! What happened? She's stuck! That's definitely not something a plunger can solve. You need all the manpower. Let's hope the two guards can pull her out. Pull! Pull! What's going on here? Mom is assessing the situation. I think you need to invest in a bigger toilet. Or Mom can use her strong robotic arms instead. Just like that. These two guards are nothing compared to Mom's strength. Maybe she can use the potty seat? Do you want to? No way! I'm not a baby! Get out! Oh, okay. Sorry. Wait a second. Potty seat, you say? I have a better idea. It's a toilet seat for kids. Charlotte will fit better on here. It works! Yay! No more getting stuck! I like it! Very cool gadget indeed! Wait, why are you here again? Sorry! Sorry! Problem solved! Yay! What a long day! It's time to sleep now! Good night, sweetie! But it's also time for the monsters to come out! Oh no! Mommy, help! Is the monster under my bed? Mommy's here! There's a monster under my bed! There are no monsters here. I think it's best to double check it. The smell of a dirty sock really scares me too. Well, look what I found. It's Huggy Wuggy. Are you sure there's nothing else? There's this empty bottle too. But see, there are no monsters. Wait. An empty spray bottle? I have an idea. Don't worry, Charlotte. Your mommy is up to something here. Pour water in the empty bottle and fill it up. Add some lavender and chamomile for the scent. Is she making perfume? Let's see what this is about. Shake it up and mix it all together. And you get an anti-monster spray. Here, Charlotte. This will keep you safe. Monsters hate things that smell good, so make sure you spray that everywhere. Maybe you should spray it on your dirty sock, too. Or the monster might come back for it. Good night! Charlotte can finally get a peaceful night's sleep. Lucas is feeling sick right now. I hope he doesn't turn into Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Mom has the solution. Some medicine, of course. If she can save enough to put in Lucas's mouth. Ew! Something's wrong with mommy doll. I think her system is glitching. Uh-oh. Hey, what's up? Huh? Oh, are we playing a dancing game? Can I have a soda, please? Sure. Looks like her motherly instincts are still working. Soda is bad. Medicine is good. Mommy doll is up to something. What is that about? Cut out the front of the soda can. Just enough to fit the bottle inside. Then put in a straw for sipping the medicine. Is that for me? Go away. This is for Lucas. Wow, Coca-Cola! He doesn't know what's coming for him. That medicine tastes good after all. It's all thanks to the guard. Good job. Huh? Oh, okay. High five? Just accept the compliment, buddy. Mommy! I want my mommy! Mommy! The squid game guard will have to do for now. Can Huggy Wuggy cheer you up? I want mommy! But if the guard calls mommy doll, she could be busy watching the squid game players. She hates disruptions at work. Yeah, no, we're not calling her. I need to think of something. A picture? I know! Nice mask you've got there. 
He can act like Mommy Doll so well, down to her robotic gestures. You should really be an actor. Charlotte is convinced. Somebody give this guard an Oscars award already. What a genius hack. Mommy doll looks busy at work. The players are playing red light, green light. Watch out! Someone's moving. It's Lucas. He wants to play. All that moving around is just asking for that laser shot. Uh-oh. You guys have got a distraction. Don't move. I hope this guy isn't ticklish. Those wheels could make anyone squirm. I see he's fighting it. Mom, let's go play, please, please. Look, a roll of tape. If only it was as easy as taping them up to behave. Let me go. Unfortunately, reality is disappointing. Mommy doll is just so done with her naughty kid. I have an idea. What is she planning to do? Tape? She's sticking it to the floor. Where is she going with this? Are we free now? Should we move? She made a racetrack for Lucas's car. Cool. All he has to do is follow the red lines. Are you guys chatting? Who said you could move? Oops, back to work, guys. It's about to flood in here. What's going on here? I must stop you at once. Whoa! Well, that was an instant slip and slide. Oh, dear. It's empty now. Don't sip that. Poor Lucas, he's so thirsty. Mommy doll needs to come up with something quick. A water dispenser and bottled water. What's that? Oh, it's a tiny water dispenser. It's very kid-friendly, so there's no more spilling water. Ah, that's a very cute way to hydrate. What a smart solution. Who put him on cleaning duty after that painful fall? Poor guard. I hate this job. It's time to brush her teeth. Or paint the mirror. Whatever floats your boat. No. Mommy doll is not impressed with this masterpiece. Clean up your mess. Huh? She even drew mommy doll. How can you stay angry at that? That's nice. But don't do it again. Just clean it up. There's no way Charlotte will clean. It's much more fun to play with a poppet instead. Of course, mom ends up doing the cleaning herself. Huh? Wait. I see something. Pop it. Let me borrow that for a second. It will do well with toothpaste. She filled up those buttons with toothpaste. They look like yummy candy. I wish I could eat them. But it's more fun to brush our teeth with these. Try it. Just dip in the toothbrush and start brushing your teeth. Brushing has never been more fun. Good job, Mommy Doll, for that genius hack.
The doll is so nervous about her ultrasound. Finally, the doctor is here. Can, Can we, we see, see her? her? Oh my gosh! The doctor thinks Huggy Wuggy is such a scary monster. Oops, I didn't mean to. I just wanted to see the baby. Let's call another doctor. Hi, Hi doctor. Huh? What is that beast? What? I can't believe she fainted too. Ugh. What are they gonna do now? Oh, I know. I'll use my magic laser. Look, it's their baby. <laughs> Where is he? <laughs> I can't see him. Really? Poor Huggy. Oh, look. I think this monitor can help. What are you doing? I'll simply plug it into my back. See? It worked! Yay! My boy! Oh, what a happy family. Oh, what a peaceful day. <laughs> I can't believe she really said that. <laughs> so crazy, huh? What are you looking at? Oh my gosh. That, that ice cream looks, looks so, so yummy. yummy. It looks so delicious. We want to have a taste. No way. Oh, I don't think they're talking about the ice cream. Look at this pregnant belly. It's so big. Yay. Oh my gosh. I think it just kicked. These girls sure are obsessed with pregnant bellies. But the doll has had enough. You guys are so annoying. Uh-oh. Ah! Oh no. She's nothing but smoke. What did you do to my friend, you monster? Ah! I'm back, dear. Huh? What was that about? I don't know. I'm just enjoying my ice cream here. What's going on here? Oh, looks like someone's preparing for a fancy dinner date. There are flowers and candles. I light the candles. Yay! Ew, are those spider toppings? That's not tasty. My favorite. Boiled egg for me. Oh no, the egg just rolled away. Come back. Oops, excuse me. Oh dear, where is the egg going? Oh hey, what's this? Is that an egg? Get away! That's mine! Whoa! Yay, he finally caught it! It really takes some time to learn how to use chopsticks. You! Huh? The baby's still hungry. Finally, I can eat! Huh? Where's my egg? I swear I just put it here. I'm eating for two now, <laughs> you know. The doll seems to be invested in the TV show, but Huggy's busy on his phone. Huh? It's a new collection of clothes for kids. Oh, I really want to buy those. Huggy, look. Huh? We need to buy those for our baby, please. Oh, don't worry. I got this. What is he up to? It looks like we've been infiltrated in the studio. Ah! <laughs> Now I've got the clothes, dear! I can't believe you really got them for free! Thank you! Oh, he'll do anything for his family! Huggy Wuggy's got a surprise for the doll! Huh? OMG! Is this real? It's our baby's nursery! Wait, why can't I open it? I wanna go in! It seems that the door is locked! What now? The only way to get in is using this puzzle. We need to find the same shape. It's a triangle. I don't think that's going to fit. Oh, how about this star? Oh, you silly huggy. That won't fit either. Nothing's working. Ugh, this is taking too long. Give me that. What we need is a hand shape. See? It fits. Yay! I can't wait to decorate this. Wow, this is very spacious. Look, ta-da! What a nice crib. I can't wait to see my baby here. I just need to remove these cobwebs first. Huh? Oops, someone got tangled up in tool. Ugh, come on, Huggy. What are you doing? I'll pull it for you. This is like an instant merry-go-round. Oh gosh, this is too long. Oh, I'm really dizzy now. The room is spinning. Wait, tool and cobwebs? Hmm, I have an idea. Prepare a bucket of water and squeeze some fabric paint in it. Then do some mixing. Now let's soak the tool in the water to transfer the color. Put all of that in. It worked. Wow, this is instant paint. Let's do a blue color this time. Just follow the same steps. This hack is so easy. What's next now? I'm tying the tool to the hoop so I can put it above the crib. That's really smart. It's almost done. Just finishing up a knot there. Wow, look at all those pretty colors. Hmm, something's still missing. 
Oh, I know. What is she up to now? Oh, right, cushions. Yay, the crib is finally complete. It looks so comfortable. Wow, is that for me? Uh -oh. No, stop. You'll ruin it. This is for our baby, you silly guy. <laughs> of course it's for the baby. I'm just kidding, dear. Cleaning up is very tiring. Whoa! Watch out! Are you okay, Huggy? What is this? Oh, it looks like a tiny cabin. Uh, this will do. It's so uncomfy. Oh, I know what to do. Buckets? What is he planning to do with those? Shh, he's in dreamland. Looks like Huggy Wuggy is up to something. I just need to gather some of these balls. <laughs> I wonder what he'll use them for. Good thing the fisherman is still asleep. Oh my, Huggy Wuggy really took a lot of them. What? Phew, now it's quite a dream. Huh? Where did all my balls go? Poor fish is out of water balls. This is so fun. Oh yeah. Silly Huggy, he just turned this into a playground. <laughs> Even the doll is enjoying this. Ha <laughs> ha. Huh? Oh no, my tights are broken. How did this happen? I need to fix this. Wait, I have another idea. Huh? <laughs> Ta-da! What is she gonna do? It looks like she's stuffing her tights with a lot of cotton. Cool! And now that the leg is full, she'll put a glove on it and some ribbon too. Wow, they're like hanging kissy missy arms! That's amazing! <laughs> we have more boxes here! Oh my, what are we gonna do with these? Should we just throw them away? I know. It looks like Huggy Wuggy is writing something. Oh, the boxes each have a letter on them. Ta-da! <laughs> they spell Huggy Wuggy's name. I don't approve. This isn't your room, Huggy. Huh? It should be like this. <laughs> Look, it's baby Huggy's room. Oh, silly me. No! That pumpkin is gonna fly! No! Too late! Oh gosh! Now I'm covered in pumpkin seeds! Why do you have to be so clumsy? Ow! What just happened? There's pumpkin everywhere! Wait, my belly is shaped like a pumpkin! Oh dear! I don't want my baby to explode like that! Wait, cardboard and puzzle mats? I have an idea for how to use these. Let's go build this. The doll is placing the puzzle mats all over the floor so it will be safe to land on. Good job, mommy doll. Phew. Uh-oh, what's happening? Huggy Wuggy is too busy playing around. The doll is running out of battery. Huh? Oh no, my wife! I'm coming! Hold this for me, please. I'll change your battery. Good thing there's a spare. Huggy's gonna replace the red one with a green one. Let's hope this works. Okay, all good. <laughs> I'm back. Huh? What's this? A pool noodle? Oh my, the doll is chopping that like an expert. Look, she made an umbrella shape. Now let's put this over here. That's really creative. Huggy Wuggy is really impressed. Yay, so many fun shapes. The nursery is really coming together. Just a little bit of cleaning is needed. Ah, we're finally done cleaning. Yes. Oh my, the doll just went back in time. Look, there's so much dust. Hmm, the dust is too thick. I know just what to do. What is that? Alginate and gypsum? Let's see. Pour the alginate powder into a container and mix it with water. Then put your hand in until it dries up. Wow, look at that texture. Now it's time to pour the plaster inside. I can't wait to see the result. Put a stick in it to make a stand and gently peel off the material. Look, it's a copy of the doll's hand. It's so realistic. Looks like it's going to be used as a display. Hmm, what else can I use? Hey, I was drinking that. Oh, wow, she turned it into a lamp. There's a string of lights inside and some beads and cotton to make it look pretty. Now some stars sprinkled around. How do we turn it on? It worked! What a beautiful lamp! 
Baby Huggy's nursery is finally complete. I think his parents really did an amazing job. We, we can't, can't wait, wait to meet, to meet Baby, Baby Huggy. Huggy.